Hey guys, what's up? It's combat Saturday. It's hot outside today, so we got the weapons out, okay? The long weapons, okay? Can't go swinging these around in the house, all right? So, um, the Wing Chun staff, okay, also called the Dragon Pole. Some of them are very, very long. This one is about uh, six foot five, somewhere around there, all right? Um, but of course, you know, they, they, they vary in height uh, quite a bit. Some of them are like nine feet long or something, you know? they're crazy and they weigh a ton, all right? <clears throat> so when looking at the staff, remember the key is that um, <clears throat> weapons are an extension of your hands, okay? And the staff is no exception, it's an extension of your hands. So in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, you've got straight punches, you've got hooks, you've got uppercuts, you've got downward chops, all those things. Same thing, it's all here, okay? Remember something, that hand-to-hand -hand fighting has its origins in weapons. Look at fencing. Look at staff fighting, look at swords, okay? And you'll say, and then look at modern fighting and you're gonna see uh, a big uh, similarity there. You'll see the connection, okay? Now, one big difference is that um, most people will fight with their strong side backwards. Like, so if you're right-handed, you're gonna have your lead hand out front and your power hand back here. That's the way it's usually done. It works, it does work, okay? But with weapons and with fencing, you know, you see it here in your strong side forward. So I'm a lefty, so I have my strong side forward. Now some uh, boxers and uh, you know other uh, combat athletes um, have done the same thing. Like uh, Mike Tyson is actually left-handed, but he fights as an orthodox. Okay, because and when asked about that, he said that that way his jab and his hooks are are more powerful because he doesn't just see the jab as being a, a weak setup punch. He sees, sees the jab as being a, a potentially a knockout blow. I mean, he puts everything he's got in that jab. So there you go, right? And and, and that's actually uh, you know some of the old um, the uh, old school boxer people like Jack Dempsey and, and uh, Jack Driscoll. You know they would do that kind of thing. They, they would have you know very strong lead head. They call it uh, the left jolt, not left jab, left jolt. Okay, so it was, it was a serious hit. All right. So we're taking that same kind of approach with the staff now. All right. And with the staff, because the nature of what a staff is, your shoulder, this is now the side center line. So if I'm standing hand to hand, you know, I'm gonna have my center line here. Well, there's a mother line, mother line in the center of your body, which is always in play. So there's also a front facing center line, but there's also a side facing center line. Because I can't really fight with a staff square on, I can't do that, right? I need to be on my side, right? I need to be on my side, okay? So, there are three stances you need to know in order to use a staff uh, correctly, okay? One is a horse, uh, one is a bow, and one is a, a cat stance. The people have different names for them, but I, I mean, I'll show you briefly what they are. Okay, so horse, here's your horse, okay? You're riding a horse, okay? Um, usually you wanna be fairly low. Your legs don't have to be completely parallel with the ground, but you should be fairly low. Then you've got a bow stance, or some people call it a mountain climbing stance, so like stepping forward, and a bit more weight is on the uh, front leg. They call that like the tiger stance. And then you've got this cat stance where it's more, uh, it's all in your rear leg, and then the lead leg is uh, empty. People, some people call it empty stance, cat stance, it's the same thing, okay? Yeah. All right, and these are the various stances. And so going between these three stances will allow you to do the various techniques with the staff, okay? Now, um, the basic, um, well, first of all, there's the, uh, the battle punch, uh, which you need to, to do in the horse stance. And this is done to develop the ability to do the staff. Okay, traditionally, you couldn't even touch the staff until you could do a decent number of, of, of these, okay? So what you gotta do here, you gotta get your nice stance here. Step one, two, see that? Three, four, see? So there's a little, so when you punch, there is a pulling back of the other hand, a push, pull, push, pull, okay? So, one, two, three, four, see? Every time, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? And that's, you know, um, you need to develop that in order to get that, that, that body connection, okay? So when you do it with the staff, First of all, to find the right uh, grip for the staff, jam the butt of the staff against your armpit here, 
pulled like that. And then wherever you, you hold the uh, staff in this position, you now have your proper grip right here. Okay? So you hold it like a uh, de deadlift uh, barbell. One over, one under, a uh, mixed grip, okay? Like a deadlift, okay? All right, now we're gonna do, bring it up. Bring it down and thrust out. All right, see when I thrust out? Look at this. Here, twisting, see? The hands rotate, they drill. Okay, so you're forward and drilling. Just like a, a straight rear, okay? Okay, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm here in my neutral stance. I go down, bang. Then I'll bring this foot up, and I'm now in my cat stance. See the leg empty? One, two, three. There's a little sweep there. Four. Again. One, two, two, and there, okay? So uh, one drill you can do with this, and I use the, uh, the fence here. And I try to get it through the holes in the fence, okay? Well, check this out here. I'm down here. I'm in my cat stance. See? Here. Palm up. Crack the walnut. Up. So there's a downward chop, there's an uppercut. And I thrust it through. See? Then, here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to change it to, to this angle. So, I'm going to... See what I did? I did a, I, I stepped forward, I did a backwards sweep, and now I'm in this stance, and now I go there. See? See that? So everything is about alternating between the various stances, okay? And so you look at that, you've got your straight, look at it, your straight punch, right? You've got your downward cut, you've got your uppercut, all right? Now if I want to do a hook, watch this now. Boom. If I want to do a hook, that, that's a, a lateral strike. I want to do a hook this way. I'm going to go bang. See? So let's say I want to do, you know, a hook and a straight, right? Or a hook and a straight, all right? Um, so I would go, I would go here. Or, um, so, well, hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> way. Had to uh, think, think for a second there, okay? So I'm going to go one, two. See that? Yeah. There we go. So I'm in here position. One, two. Now I want to do a hook, a straight, and an uppercut. So I'm here. Go one, two, and then three. Or I can dance with three. Bottom there, bottom there. Bottom there, bottom there. Okay? Sweep. Here. And right to you. Okay? <laughs> so there you go. Um, so, you know, the, those are the ways which you can use. Just the, the main thing is to learn to switch between the stances. You've got your horse stance. So, um, you know, if I want to do, let's say I want to lead with an uppercut, okay? Well, I got my horse stance there, right? Bang, I get off there, okay? Then I want to do a, a hook uh, this way. Hook up, bang! And now I want to go straight. There's an uppercut, a hook, and a straight. See? One more time, uppercut, straight, see? So you see, you can do various combinations, you know, punching combinations using this, okay? And then of course, uh, you know, everything's bigger with this, and when you go to empty hands, they get smaller, okay? And there, there you go, but I tell you this, if you learn how to get this energy down, in, that's required for this kind of stuff. When you do empty hands, it's a lot easier. All right. And this drill here as well. I can find your distance here. All right. So in this position, thrust through the hole. Here, thrust through the hole. Center, thrust through the hole. Okay. Remember to get that corkscrew. Okay. There you go. Get the idea, okay? So anyways, um, that's it, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you soon.